Hello, it's Ben Cooper here from Gems Wallet and Alkale, and today I'm going to introduce the first video of our Q&A videos. The idea of these sessions is to answer some of the questions that you might have as a parent in regards to the way we work at WEC. It may be to do with the curriculum or the way that we teach the curriculum. Spellings in primary have changed slightly, so you receive your spelling list um, weekly for the children to practice. But what's really, really important is that the UK curriculum doesn't specify any particular words that they have to learn. All it specifies is what rule they have to learn. And that's really important. So when the children learn those spellings, they're not asked to learn just those word, the list of words, but also the rule. Because they can be tested not just on those 10 words, but any word that fits with that rule. It's really important that when we send those spelling lists home, that the children are not just learning those 10 words but they're also learning the rule because at the end of a year when we get to our GL and progress test the children might not be tested on any of those 10 words they just might be tested on a word that fits within that rule so it's really important now that we don't just teach the children in school about those words but they also teach them and have a big focus on the rule which is why we've introduced 20 minute spelling lessons into our timetable so once a week in your year groups the children will be taught that rule that fits in with the rule presented on the list of words that you receive at home. Through those spelling lessons, they will be taught not just about the rule, but also how the spelling rule might affect the meaning of the word. So the children get opportunity to look at words in a dictionary, they get to look at words in a thesaurus, and from that then they build an understanding of not just those 10 words, but also the meaning of the words and the rule itself. By doing this, they immerse themselves in the spellings and they understand how to use those words so they are more likely to use them in their writing. At home, it's important that you as a parent support your child in developing their understanding, not just of those words, but of the rule. And therefore, we've also adapted our spelling test. So whereas before we would test the children on those 10 spellings, we now test the children on some of the words that they've practiced, but also some words that they may not have practiced to check whether they understand the rule of the spelling, not just the list of words. It's sometimes much easier to memorize a list of words than it is to remember the rule. What we want is the children to develop their spelling skills not just their memory skills of memorizing that list of 10. So the spelling test now focuses on the rules. So the child isn't asked to write down all 10 words. They're, they are dictated to with a full sentence. So the children get to, again, to understand the meaning of the word, but they also then attest on the rule. So they may be asked to spell a word within that rule, but that wasn't on their list. But that's really important because at the end of the year, when the GL tests are conducted, the children will be asked to do a similar thing. So they'll be presented with a sentence with a blank space. They have to read the sentence and fill in the blank with a word, with a rule that they will have learned that year, but not necessarily a word that was on the spelling list. It could be anything. So it's really important we develop the children's spelling skills, not just focused on those 10 words that are in that list. So I hope that answers your question. I'll be back next week with another Q&A video. Have a really good week.